guest has a current day job and don't tell their day job boss that they're on a podcast today. Um, but they're joining us today to talk about how to get involved in multifamily where you've got a job by bringing skills that you have. I didn't really appreciate the value of the social media or the, so I put it out in like the middle of the night. So I got that done. The next day I had uh, two voicemails from people that I didn't know. And they basically said they were on Derosa Insiders uh, group, but they wanted to reach out to me. That was immediate. I couldn't believe that, you know, just out of the blue, somebody wanted to talk to me. What's going on, everybody? It's Matt Faircloth. Welcome to the Cash Flow Digest. This is an awesome program. We talk about all things real estate, all things real estate investing. Um, and I'm really grateful that you guys are here listening, watching whatever you're doing uh, in whatever medium that you're on, because we are on Spotify. We are on YouTube. We are on the DeRosa Insiders Facebook page. What? We're on Facebook. That's right. Y'all need to go to DeRosa Insiders on Facebook. Join our free, capital F, free community where this program goes on live at 12 noon Eastern time every week. This program is a live program for those um, that want to join us live, that ask live questions of myself and our guests to, to come and chat with us. So go to Facebook, join DeRosa Insiders, you guys to join us live. I've got a great guest that's going to be coming on to talk to us about how to get involved in reasonable size multifamily deals now. Maybe somebody who's got a job that our guest has a current day job and is uh, and don't tell their day job boss that they're on a podcast today uh, during working hours between you and me, between us, right? Um, but they're joining us today to talk about how to get involved in multifamily where you've got a job and perhaps how to get yourself involved in larger multifamily deals by bringing skills that you have, by bringing your, uh, your given talents to the table today to get involved in multifamily opportunities. This person has been able to do that and he's going to teach us how he's been able to do it. And he's also an awesome pod leader in our DeRosa Insiders Mastermind program. You guys want to check that out too by going to derosagroup.com forward slash education. And let's talk about uh, offering what you do, your given talents, your unique abilities to real estate investing now, instead of waiting to quit your job and I'll wait to do this and I'll wait to do that and I'll wait till I get good at it. Instead, this person, our next guest, identified something he was great at today. He did that by taking the DeRosa personality assessment that we have that tells you what your real estate superpower is. And our guest figured out his superpower was being an underwriter, being the brain of an operation. It probably means being the smartest person in the room. And this guest, I've gotten to know him. He is that. Um, and let's bring in the smartest person in the room. Let's bring in Dan Plaster. Dan, come on in. What's up, brother? How are you? I'm doing great, Matt. Thank you very much for having me. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I feel smarter already just having you here with me, man. I don't know if I'm the smartest guy in the room, but uh, I have learned a lot being around you guys. So, yeah, 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 you got a minion behind you. So, you and I, you're probably are the smartest person in the room. You got you, me, and that minion. Uh, yeah, I think sure. you're right, right. And tell our audience here all about yourself, and we'll take it from there. Sure. You mentioned uh, earlier I am. I do have a W two job. I work as an actuary in an insurance company here. I'm in. I'm from Indiana. Um, work for a medical malpractice insurance company. Been doing it for about 20 plus years. So we do a lot of what you guys uh, and what the real estate industry and multifamily call underwriting, uh, making sure the pricing for the uh, medical malpractice for the doctors groups uh, is appropriate. So there's a lot of parallels there. I didn't really know about multifamily investing until about a year and a half ago. Um, saw your boot camp, participated in it for you know the 12 weeks or whatever with bigger pockets and. Uh, realized that through your discussion about the brains and the hunters and the hammers and the money that I, you know, I could fit in there pretty squarely in the brain category, even though I do like doing the other things, enjoy working in some of the other capacities, but it felt light doing the, the brain work and the analyst side. So taken to that. Um, and uh, like I said, 18 months later, I have uh, been part of your, uh, the DeRosa mastermind and the pod groups and I'm trying to expand my ability to bring some of that analytical, uh, capabilities to other groups to um, to jump right into the, the pricing of the deal. That's great. Let's let's talk a little bit more about that because um, you figured out that you're a brain, which is the analyst. I mean, I, I like cool names for things that are easy to remember, right? So you yeah. figured out you're a brain. Um, you're actually an analyst uh, that, that can actually have a reasonable conversation and you've got you're like you're like a slightly extroverted kind of brain person that I've met, right? So you're you're a, a force to be reckoned with in that sense. Um, you can actually sell a little bit, and you can actually analyze a lot of a deal. Um, and you were also willing to, under my encouragement, get outside your comfort zone a bit um, and put together a bit of like let's call it a Dan commercial or or like a video on why Dan is amazing. And I think in in doing that and in meeting some of the folks that you met at our mastermind and meeting some of the folks that you met uh, at our retreat. 
you were able to get your name and your brand out there for people that needed someone to analyze a deal. Because I can tell you, the analyst is the one, it's, a, it's the unsung hero of any real estate transaction. Because a lot of those with egos are like, ah, I can underwrite myself. How hard is it to do to analyze a deal or to figure out a market or whatever? A lot harder than you think. It, it's very easy to overlook certain factors that need to get considered in the analysis of a deal. So by no means should you guys be doing it yourself if that's not your core strength. So I encourage you all to take the superpower assessment at derosagroup.com forward slash superpower to tell you what you do. Dan, when you started putting yourself out there um, that, hey, I'm Dan, I'm amazing and I can underwrite your deals and I'm willing to put my extra time in to underwrite stuff in exchange for just building relationships. And if, dare I say, at first for free, almost like a crack deal or give the first taste for free. The second one's going to cost you kind of thing, right? Yeah. Um, so you put it out there for free. How did it go when you started putting yourself out there? How did, how did those conversations go and what were those relationships looking like? It was almost immediate. I didn't really appreciate the value of the social media or the, the, the video about myself until I did it. So I put it out in like the middle of the night. So I finished it right before we were going to talk. So I wanted to make sure I made, you know, completed what I told you I'd do, uh, Matt. And so I got that done. And the next day I had uh, two voicemails from people that I didn't know. And they basically said they were on the DeRosa Insiders uh, group, but they wanted to reach out to me and talk about the, the brain side of the internet analytical side of the of uh, multifamily investing. So that was immediate. I couldn't believe that, you know, just out of the blue, somebody wanted to talk to me about because I was still pretty new. It, it was, you know, it was a few months ago, but I felt like I was still trying to learn from everybody. And I still am. But there was people out there that were really clueless. They just had a lot of fear of math. And that's not unusual. Let's just say they're great at something else. That's you know? right. Uh, they have the skill set right. Skill. They got uh, other yeah, skills. Yeah, they got yeah, broker yeah. relationships. They know their market yeah, like the back exactly. of their hand. I can't tell you how many folks that I know that are tough, hard scrabble, calluses on their hands, construction dudes that will put any property manager, plumber, vendor in a absolute headlock and squeeze the best quote and squeeze the best timeline out of that vendor. But when it comes to running numbers, they're like, um, yeah, I am going to defer. So I've, as part of this, I've, I've gotten in contact with a couple of really good group of folks that needed that guy and needed yeah. that guy to look at the numbers. They, they were doing it. They had their own model or they had bought a model from somebody and they were putting it through it. But there really was a... Um, a, a lack of understanding. Everybody can read numbers and they can think about what it means to put a lower their expense or increase your income. Yeah. Think about how that plays out over five, 10 years. It was really hard for people to kind of get wrapped around. So try to bring that to people, either helping them understand it or just providing that service. Like and let me underscore one thing, right? I am not giving anybody listening here permission to not know numbers and to yeah. not know finance. As a business owner, you need to be financially literate. You need to know how to read a balance sheet and know how to read a profit and loss statement. That is Robert Kiyosaki 101. Um, to be a business owner, you need to know how to look at numbers. Now, that does not mean that you need to know how to be an analyst, right? Yeah. Being an analyst is different than being financially literate. If I analyze a deal, there's a 50-50 shot. I'm going to leave something out. I'm going to forget to put in maintenance or real estate taxes probably are going to go up over time, right? That's not being financially literate or not. That's just understanding all the mechanisms that go into a complex equation, such as a small or mid-sized multifamily asset. There's a lot of variables, right, Dan? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, they're in, on, the, on the low side you're on a couple dozen variables and every variable can move one, one direction or another and change the returns, change the profits on your deal. I've seen an underwriter that can look at the entire like switchboard. You picture like Homer Simpson sitting at the switchboard at the nuclear reactor where he worked. That's what the underwriter is. He's got that entire switchboard in front of him with all the different knobs and buttons and everything like that. And that's Dan. And Dan knows which ones to touch and which ones not, and which one will blow the nuclear reactor up and which ones you should tweak to adjust for profitability. I do spreadsheets every day. Um, I'm in them all the time. I have for the last 20 plus years, being able to create what the hunter or the hammer, or even the uh, money guy had in mind as they put together a business plan, because it's not cookie cutter. So the way things and the, how creative you have to get today with the deals, being able to tweak that model to make it fit and make it more realistic, as opposed to just going with high level averages is going to be key now as we get into this tougher market. What kind of interesting stuff are you involved in these days, uh, deal-wise? Give us a little tease of some stuff you're working on. As I started out this process, the traditional thinking was learn everything about a market. You said, well, no, go deep on what you do, which is the brain side of things and analyze the numbers. So I really am spread out now. I'm kind of all over the country looking at deals uh, with people that have already done the market analysis, have already done some of that um, due diligence on the, on the particular area. I'm looking at a hotel conversion. Um, 140 units that's uh, currently extended stay. They're converting it over to studio apartments. Um, looking at a couple of 
deals that somebody had already brought and, and kind of vetted and have really good uh, return numbers on it. Just want me to kind of put uh, a second set of eyes on it and make sure they're not missing anything and, and think about their business plan as it evolves over the next five or 10 years because they do want to keep it on an extended level. That's a that's a deal in uh, in in Utah. Um, there's a couple more deals in the Dallas uh, Fort Worth area that I'm that I'm contributing on. So I'm getting exposed to the people that they're working with too, the lenders that they're talking to, some really good people all over the country that are working this. That's what really has drawn me to this in the first place. I have a good career as an actuary uh, for the next you know 10, 15 years, whatever it is. I want to uh, create a great you know power team that has all these superpowers to. To where I can just do the analysis side of it. I can talk and I, you know, I talk to somebody like you, Matt, that's done it for a while and they know Dallas Fort Worth or they know Houston or they know, you know, whatever, insert place here. And I just look at it and work with them on creating a plan that's gonna that's gonna be dominant for the next five to ten years. And I think that you're gonna get there because you're using your superpower to attract yourself to other people's powers you don't have by collaborating and, and sharing. If somebody were to close that hotel conversion or close the deal in Utah and, and um, move forward on it, are they just going to send you a nice Christmas card or are you actually gonna get a piece of those deals? It depends on the deal, it depends on the, the relationship, how deep we're gonna go in a certain market, what the plan is as far as how much of the GP percentage they'll give me or how much they'll give me on the, or how much they want me to come in uh, as far as uh, analysis side, but also some raising capital work with them on the business plan to try and present it out. Yep. So I'm doing a little bit of all of that. So it depends on how much I'm participating, but really it's the percentage of the deal, not as an LP where, which I have done some deals as an LP, but more of like being a, you know, co-GP or, or, or sponsored. I ultimately, you know, I want to run my own or at least be part of a group that runs their own sponsorship, but that's what I'm at right now. In um, Raising Private Capital, I talk about two different entities that get involved in a, in a transaction, right? There is the cash provider. Well, what your primary thing you're putting in is is dollars, right? You're writing a check, you're getting involved in the deal. So your compensation, your equity in the deal should be in relative you know, correlation to the check that you wrote. I invest you know, 50K into a deal, you invest 100K, you should get double what I got, not for nothing, that's the way it should go. On the other side of it, there's the deal provider. Their value in the deal are a couple of different things. Let's go through them. Relationships, uh, market knowledge, uh, experience, and time, right? You know, well, how much are you bringing to the deal with regards to involvement, uh, getting it to closing and then forward beyond there, right? Those are the things the deal provider brings to the table. And sometimes a check, but when the deal provider writes a check, it typically goes in on the LP or on the cash provider side, yeah. right? Uh, the GP typically, it is nice for them to write a check and get involved with their dollars in the deal, and a lot of people do, but it's not part of the GP's contribution. The GP's contribution is relationships, time, sweat equity, uh, market experience, sometimes risk through personal guarantees. If you're putting in more time involvement and more of your relationships, more of your experience, you should be compensated for more, right? People sometimes forget that, that, that the GP, uh, splits should all be equal, you know, or that it should be slanted certain ways. Some of these it's situations where deals that people already had or that they're already looking at, they got an LOI accepted and they want to bring somebody in that could talk them through the numbers and take some of that time that they don't have to put into it going forward. So I think that's where I'm fitting in on these right now. Um, obviously, like I said, I like to have my own or sponsor my own deals, have a little bit bigger percentage of it. Right now, because I am starting out trying to provide a service to them, it's a limited part of it, but, you know, eventually building up to it. So, you know, a year ago, I was doing nothing. So I'm pretty happy with so far the progress, the exposure to the different types of people and the different types of deals. Is hey, man, it's a marathon. Yeah. Uh, anything that's worthwhile is a long range race. Yeah. The brain is the one member of the four superpowers that can really spread themselves around a little bit. It is necessary for the hunter to drill into a specific market yeah. and find out why that market's amazing and make themselves the expert of that market. It is necessary for the money to hopefully not be like this money mercenary that just runs around raising money for deals all over the place and doing a little bit of this, a little of that. The money really needs to own a brand and be focusing on the brand that they've got and drilling in further and further on that. And the hammer, a lot of times is geographically limited as well because they need to be boots on the ground and uh, those boots need to be very close to the ground. You don't wanna go, go put those boots on an airplane all the time, right? But the brain on the other hand, Dan can underwrite a deal in Honolulu, Hawaii, if he wanted to on one day, and then he might have an excuse to go visit that deal, not for nothing, but he, won't, he doesn't have to do that. He could also visit, uh, he could also underwrite a deal in Bangor, Maine or in Orlando, Florida, uh, all at the same time. And he's not spreading himself around. He's just using his skills to consider opportunities. The brain has that unique ability. I, I, I cannot wait to see uh, what's next. Any other predictions on what's next for Dan in the next year or two? I'm just 
you want to continue on this path and um, have been going to a lot of the uh, mastermind in the calls and the pods. The mastermind is really good because you can bring a lot of different people together and cover uh, some uh, one topic all at once with 15 or 20 some people, 30 some people. The pods are nice because they're separating out and you can kind of get a little bit personal and get a little more yeah. intimate with the group and see where everybody's at and because everybody has their own issues and trying to be able to help people is part of the deal as well. And that's that's a lot of fun. Ed, I'm really grateful to have you as a pod leader. So if you guys, you guys are listening, you guys want to raise your game in real estate investing, consider joining the DeRosa uh, Insiders Mastermind. Um, and I'm really excited for new news that we'll be having soon coming out of the pipeline for the mastermind, like a facelift or a change or whatever. We've tested the model. It seems to be working. So now we're going to be adding uh, a lot more value. So if you guys are considering uh, going next level in your real estate education, I would strongly consider your the masterminds. It's going to be uh, a, a mastermind on steroids very soon um, through what we're going to be adding to the equation here. DeRosaGroup.com um, forward slash education. If you're sitting there and you're kind of in the same spot, whether it's a brain or not, and you're just starting out and maybe you're in the mastermind or not, hit me up on the email or give me, you know, reach out there. We can text. No problem. Speaking so, anyway. of uh, which, Dan, your email, dan at bluetablecapital.com. Dan at bluetablecapital.com. Easy to remember, guys. Spelled exactly like you're thinking it is. Uh, so hit up Dan at that email address, dan at bluetablecapital.com. Shoot him a line. Tell him what you think about him. Look up Dan on Facebook at Dan Plasterer, P A L A S T E R E R. Uh, and keep a tab on this guy. He's going to the moon. I'm um, really grateful to have you as a, as a friend and as a DeRosa Insiders member and as a pod leader uh, in our programs, Dan. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate it, Matt. Good seeing you. Yep. Awesome conversation with our guy, Dan. If you're involved in a day job or want to get heavy involved in real estate now, consider finding out what you're great at and finding a way to bring that greatness to the market today, not at some point in the far future when you quit your job. Uh, and that kind of thing. Consider taking the DeRosa superpower assessment that'll tell you, that'll help you get there. And by the way, that tool's free. If I haven't said that yet, that tool is a free tool that you guys can take to determine what your real estate greatness is. Um, and, and lastly, guys, gratitude. I'm grateful for you. Grateful for Dan. Uh, looking forward to see where Dan goes here and grateful uh, for our community at DeRosa Insiders on Facebook. Uh, that's what we got to, uh, today, guys. Stay tuned. Next Friday, noon Eastern, we'll be back. We'll be back here talking more real estate shop, talking more uh, multifamily, bringing on another guest. Make sure you catch the uh, cash flow uh, digest show on a weekly basis here at noon Eastern or on your medium that you love, like Spotify, like YouTube, or other podcasting ventures to check out this show. Thanks again, guys. Have a phenomenal weekend. Hey guys, Matt Fairclough here. Thank you for listening again to the Cash Flow Digest. I really appreciate you guys doing that. If you guys want to hear more about what DeRosa Group has to offer, go to DeRosa Group, D E R O S A Group.com, DeRosa Group.com online. You can hear about all the great things that we offer from an educational standpoint and passive investment standpoint on our website. See you there. And if you guys want to join our online community, DeRosa Insiders on Facebook, where you can watch this program get recorded every Friday at noon Eastern, and you can come on as even a guest or ask questions on the show. We hope to see you guys on our online community, DeRosa Insiders. See you there.